So I'm back inside, warm up a little bit after a good snowmobile ride. That was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And as you can see, I'm pretty comfortable in here. 62 mm. degrees. Heaters are doing a nice job. I think I'm gonna go upstairs and look out the window again. Just absolutely beautiful. So lucky to be here. See, the wind is really hopping. Just can't believe how beautiful that light wagon wheel turned out that my wife made. Just, that was just a really neat Christmas present. She spent a lot of time on that, it means a lot. Got kids pirate chest, I found that at a secondhand store. And this land is actually interesting, it's a wheat farm. And uh, I actually work with a farmer that's been uh, working this land for years and we're, we're keeping it a farm. So <clears throat> I farm probably nine of the 10 acres um, or I should say he does. And the story is actually kind of interesting because his family can trace themselves back quite a ways here. And there's no irrigation uh, on this part of the, uh, the prairie. So they have figured out over time that they seal the seeds in uh, water packets and they put them in the ground when they till it up. And it's, and it's just enough that uh, about three out of every seven years, they can they can make a little bit of money doing it. And then one year they usually have a bumper crop and then the next two years aren't so great. So it's a tough living for sure. And I really admire the genius um, of being able to figure out how to do that. Um, so uh, this, this uh, spring, you'll probably see the tractors running out here when we come up and uh, the wheat will grow within 25, 30 feet of the shed. And then we just stay on the back side and park the camper over there. So that way we don't mess with the crops, but it works really well. Um, we were able to um, keep the keep the land uh, farmable and it, it works for him. He's been doing it for years and, and I get the benefit of, of having a winter playground up here. So works for everybody and it and it kind of helps me fit in with the local economy so that being said probably gonna head down here and uh, get ready to go home pretty soon <laughs> 